twin kestrels darted through the gaps between branches. The leaves formed verdant pathways. Predictably, Riga first, with Agar close behind. In those pathways, they traded secrets. Secrets Riga whispered to the flock, hoping to push them beyond the hollow, beyond the forest. Most nights, Riga and Agar sat beneath the stars to dream. Twin hearts sounding a duet of beats. Like ours, Mara. I still feel yours. Still distant. In this story, Agar fixated on the dark clouded pox that marred the night above the canopy. He pointed to the starry spaces between them and asked his sister to name them. Riga never spoke a word. She already knew all their names and didn't want to crush his spirit. How charitable. One night, Agar grew impatient of her silence and pointed to one of the dark spots as it roared with thunder. The storm is singing to us, said Agar. We should sing back to show it we are not afraid. Riga wove her voice with his, and the thunder resounded. She did not sing with him again after that night. Rare to see stars in the ascended plain. I wish we were doing this together. Why hide the scepter if it weren't a test? I understand awoken history is not your strong suit, Titan. I will teach you. When the awoken people came into being after the collapse, I was the first. As first, my chosen form defined what an awoken could be. Thousands followed my example, willing themselves into existence within the distributary. Some, like Aldrin, required help. His mind was like an unsteady form. No surprise he was unable to do it on his own. So I guided him, filled the gaps in his memory. I gave him a star to follow. He was bonded to me, and his devotion spiraled into pathetic recklessness. Even through death, he hasn't outgrown that dependency. I see it in him, as he looks longingly to his ghost for answers. To you, 